Okay. It is weird for Kirby Lucina because it's like as someone who's played the matchup as like Lucina, like Kirby has such a low profile. Yeah. And he's just fast enough where it's like landing with a falling aerial. Like it becomes so what's it called? So uh like predictable. Yeah. So it's like. Uh, Sh Shane has said that he does not like playing Kirby into Dijon because Dijon knows all the cheese. Yeah. What? That's her. It's like <laughs> when you play against the character, when you play against your main, like you know what the character is gonna do. Yeah. It's like. Step uh, so again, uh, Pac-Man. Um, okay. Right now, even still, this is a, if I remember correctly, not an amazing matchup for Pac. You know, Lucina's disjoints give him a hard time. Like she spaces him out well. Even though, even though uh, Pac-Man really does have like insane normals, like oh, Lucina's are just okay. also like on her tier of her own, mainly because they're disjointed. That was a great side beat, honestly. Yeah, great ledge trapping coming from Dijon. Not too much damage on him either. Looking pretty healthy this stock so far. Yeah, I mean, TK does have belt lined up. He doesn't have it in hand, but it's still on his beat. Oh, and oh, Pink with the F smash roll. He knew Dijon wanted to stay out of dodge against that bell. Ooh. Great way to bring things back real quick. Yeah, virtually even now. Yeah, no, Shane's outright taking the lead. Yeah. That's something, though, that um, Dijon has to respect against Pac-Man. Pac-Man's out-of-shield game is uh, absurd, to say the mm. least. Absolutely. If, you're doing, if you don't space your stuff correctly, like, even if you do sometimes, like, Pac-Man can still, like, reach you. It's... Yeah. Something I want to see from, like, Dijon later in the set. Like, obviously not now. It's maybe too early, but, um... Like, the use of Shield Breaker. Shield Breaker is, like, it's honestly the one move that, like, really helps, like, Lucina. Because it's, like, you're already so conditioned to, like, get around her normals. So it's, like, when she has a move that literally just beats it and, like, breaks your shield, it's just, like, it's just, like, a, such a good piece of her kit, you know? Yeah. I have to say, I... I saw, like, a Dijon go for an edge guard just now. I can't see him, like, you know. I feel like a lot of uh, Lucina's edge guarding relies on, like, you know, the opponent's, like, a limited movement off stage, And that's just not a thing for Pac-Man. That's not a factor. He can be so far off. He can, like, space himself so far away that I can't see a Dijon, like, finding any, like, offstage kills. Like, you know. I could see some. Like, uh, I could see some, like, trying to, like, get the startup or, like, startup of, like, up B or, like, maybe, like, the ending line of side B. Maybe. But, like, other than, like, those few scenarios, like, <laughs> it's really hard to edge guard back, man. Oh, my God, yeah. He just has so much versatility in his recovery, but great ups up there. Yeah, excellent ledge trap coming from, uh, Dijon. And, oh. Great shield pressure from uh, TK. Double there. Yeah, Dijon. I'm oh, sorry, TK. Uh, very obviously wanting the, that back throw. Yeah. It's just slowly getting worse and worse for him, honestly. Yeah. Ooh. Oh, Who he should have pummeled. He actually should have pummeled. He got punished. If he pummeled, he. Well, it doesn't matter, but. Ooh. Dijon, I don't think uh, quite realizing like how active that hydrant was. Yeah. Double roll. <laughs> this is a long game. This is only game one. What the heck? Oh yeah. I mean, it's, I'm I'm not too surprised. They're, these are not exactly like you know the most aggressive characters, especially Pac-Man. Yeah. Although TK definitely, if he wants to like start making this look like a good doable game for him has to uh, start amping up the offense a little bit and Ooh, yeah a lift go, um, mm -mm. barely gonna kill two uh, will be uh, Dijon's game one it's weird because like that didn't feel like that oppressive but like that last stock was like the only thing I felt like uh, the only time rather I felt like TK1 really struggled there. Oh, no way. Oh, what the? How did this happen? That's... Oh. Well, let's... Oh, uh, 
We got two little two little guys now. Could they have used different colors instead of pink and slightly redder pink? Yeah. Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> but like, like, come on! It's so hard. It's like, it's not like, it's not like they're the same thing. But they're it's not just the like, very same thing. The the shoes are like what's saving like you know this from being a nightmare to uh, spectate though. Yeah. Right now it's relatively even. Both are at a. Yeah, although Dijon has uh, TK in a bit more of a favorable oh. position. Oh, and the edge guard coming from Dijon will close out that first stock. Honestly? TK. Oh, sorry, go on. I was just going to say TK lasting a little too long below there. You were saying? Now that I think about it, Kirby is so good at edge guarding Kirby. Because one of the main things Kirby has off stage is his double jump and his floatiness to stall. But when you are literally Kirby, and you have the exact same amount of like uh, you know like time in the air like that, like it's very puff like it's a very long installing, like you could just like you can play that game of chicken, you can. It's like very interesting to see. Right now, Dijon just building a bit of a lead right now, sixty percent counter. TK wants that up throw under a platform so badly. I'm honestly surprised TK hasn't gone for a dash attack. He's, that's one of the moves I feel like he goes for like, very yeah, often in these scenarios. Oh, down to hitting in the air. Very funny. Very nice uh, mix up coming from T TK, but oh, yeah, TK saying get the fuck off me, bro. Yeah, get out of here. Not today. Great punish. Dijon, uh, TK, sorry, trying to box his way out of the corner so badly. Instead, gets another footsies into the uh, dirt. Yeah. Oh. Uh, the Wait. <laughs> I don't think the you iconic that. Kirby ability. Copy. <laughs> he can now copy other abilities. Uh. Oh, no. No. Yeah, he tried Not to get like out that, of there. Bro. ASAP. <laughs> Not like this. Up there. TK has yet to get anything off stage against Dijon. I feel like off stage is like it's actually where it's like the the differences for the most part in this set. Yeah, it seems like Dijon's just exploiting uh, TK's recovery a lot better than TK's re uh, exploiting uh, Dijon's. Wow, you're actually not gonna kill. Yeah, you know what? I'm not too surprised. It, it, it wasn't that high percent. Yet. Ah, but it's Kirby, you know, like it's yeah. not a lot. Dijon has such a lead right now. Jesus. And it's only growing. He nearly at 100. This definitely is irritating for TK, I can tell. Like, he, he is just unable to find this kill. Uh, okay, okay, never mind. Okay. I thought like, uh, not being under the platform would uh, pose problems, but no. Same. But, uh, yeah. oh, this is very scary. Can TK bring this back? No, he can't. <laughs> you just had to say it. <laughs> you just had to say it. Oh. Oh. We got a pro.